Let's go to David Penzer in the ring for a very special introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please welcome, he is the CEO of the World Wrestling All-Stars, Auckland, New Zealand, and the world, Mr. Andrew McManus. There he is, Andrew McManus, who has brought pay-per-view to New Zealand for the first time, first pay-per-view from Australia, and of course, first pay-per-view from Glasgow, Scotland, last time out. Yes. And, uh, boy, we're happy to have him here. Yeah, but what a shameless show Thank for the camera. You know, every now and again, great moments happen in sport. Tonight is one of those moments. I'd like very much now to introduce to you a man who is the true testament to what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. That gentleman is the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Brett, the Hitman Hart. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what can you say? A man who was on our very first pay-per-view. A man, I mean, Disco, Glenn Gilberti, what can you say about Bret Hart? I, I, I've had the pleasure to get to know him very well. Bret Hart would probably be, if there was like a Hall, uh, Hall of Fame, if uh, the best wrestling, obviously, first vote ballot, you know, I mean, no doubt. One of, one of the greatest of all time, and arguably, arguably, in some parts of the world, considered the greatest wrestler of all time, but he's definitely up there. And, and not only that, but on a very on a very personal level, what he's gone through. Oh, yeah. Uh, boy, I... I other, uh, the only thing I can really say about Bret Hart, when it comes down to it, the one word is class. Yeah. Class personified. And tonight, he returns to the World Wrestling All-Stars and uh, has, had a, has had a very rough couple of months, no doubt, personally, with what he's been through. Let's, uh, nothing more to say. Let's just turn it over to the hitman in the ring. That's cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. What a reception. What an absolutely yeah. phenomenal reception. To the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Fans on their feet here in appreciation for the Hitman. First time in New Zealand. Tremendous display of respect for the Hitman. Took me a long time to get here. Thank you very much. Uh, where do I start? I promised myself that I uh, that I would just uh, you know and I wouldn't come out here and sing any sad songs. I just want to come out and say a few words. I'll try not to take too long here, get too long winded. It's taken me such a long time to get down here in New Zealand. It's a beautiful country. Amen. And you have to forgive me a little bit. It's been a little while since I've been in front of a camera. It's not easy to come out here for me. For me, it's something that uh, I've wanted to do. And, and I appreciate the fact that the WWA gave me a chance to come out here in a lot of ways, address fans all around the world. You know, last year when I uh, suffered my stroke, the last thing in my mind was ever coming down here to see anybody. And uh, when Andrew McManus called me a few months ago, I was happy to know that I'd recovered enough that I thought I could come down here and do this. So this is the first. This is the first time I've really come out in public to talk to anybody. It reminds me of a conversation I had about a year ago, about a month before I had a stroke. I was talking to a guy that was uh, uh, the head of WWE in Canada, and he was talking to me about uh, having seen me on a WWE show. He said that my uh, stock was at an all-time low. And I got news for him because I don't have stock anymore in wrestling. I'm happily, or was anyway, happily retired, and uh...
You know, yesterday is the four-year anniversary of the death of my brother Owen. And I know uh, my brother Owen would have been really proud to see me sitting here right now talking to you people. It's been a tough year in wrestling. You know, I lost some good friends. Lost the British Bulldog this past year. Also lost Mr. Perfect, Kurt Henning. And we recently lost Miss Elizabeth. And uh, I just want to say that they were all really decent people. And uh, we're going to miss them. And I, I like to think of myself sitting here today that uh, I'm a survivor. You know, I've survived a hell of a lot. Life is short and death is long. And uh, when I was in the hospital, when I had my stroke, I got emails from all over the world. I got them right here from fans here in New Zealand. I got them from people in places like Iraq and Russia and the Philippines. And uh, I like to think that there was it was for me I was a world champion not just a champion the hitman was not just some wrestling character that was created in a boardroom by marketers or you know uh, writers or anything like that I'm happy to tell you that I'm a real person when I thought about coming out here I was worried what I was gonna wear and how I was gonna look and I don't give a shit about any of that. I'm just glad to be here. He doesn't need to. He's the hitman. Fans agree. One of a kind. Anyway, I'm going to let make room for the main event. And I just want to let you all know that I appreciate all your prayers. And I don't want you to ever stop worrying about me or thinking about me. Thank you very much, New Zealand. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bret Hart. What an emotional, emotional moment. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Brett, uh... He's been through uh, just uh, an incredible 12 months. Yeah. And you're, you're talking about a man who uh, just, just, you know, basically wore his heart on his sleep for all of us. Yeah. He's, it's a real deal. There's no... There's no phoniness with Bret Hart. No, it's just, yeah. it's all class. It's all 100% legit. That, that is the classiest man in the wrestling business. Yeah. One of the best guys I've ever met in the wrestling business.